Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to install WhatsApp app on Microsoft Store because the installation is stuck on checking dependencies. So if you are facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Before trying any troubleshooting steps, uh, you can try to install it using this link. Open this link in a browser, go to official WhatsApp website and over here you can see the download option, hit download and then click on this installer and then it will open store and you will see install button or in my case it is already installed so if you see the install button try to install it this way if that does not work you can try to install whatsapp beta now for this you can type in store in windows search box and then you can in the search box you can type in this and then you can try to install this one and check if you're receiving any error or not. Still not working. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. This is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on. And then click on sync now. And once the sync is done, go to time and language. Go to language and region and select your country make sure that your country is selected over here and then check still not working the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset this will open microsoft store once again and then you can find whatsapp over here and then you can try to install the normal version and then you can check still not working the next step is to repair or reset Microsoft Store. Now for this, type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box. Make a right click on Microsoft Store. Click on App Settings. And then scroll down. First of all, Terminate. Then click on Repair. And once the repair is done, now you can open Microsoft Store. And then you can try to install WhatsApp once again. Still not working. The next step is to reset if that does not work here you can see the reset option click on reset reset and once the reset is done again open microsoft store and then try to install whatsapp once again still not working the next step is to restart windows update microsoft store install and background intelligent transfer service now for this Type in services in Windows search box. Click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Now find Microsoft, Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now, even if it's running, make a right click, then click on restart. And do the same thing for Microsoft Store install service. Do the same thing over here. Uh, sorry, make a right click and then click on restart. And do the same thing for Windows Update. Right click, restart. And then you have to relaunch Microsoft Store. So you have to launch Microsoft Store once again. And then you have to and then try to install WhatsApp. Still not working. Run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. And then make sure that you run this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command. Hit the enter key. This process will take some time. And during this process, you will see some errors in red color. Just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is complete, you will see everything red. You can close this and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open store and then try to install WhatsApp. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So right now here you can see Microsoft Store is open. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on Run as Administrator. Open this as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Paste the command. As soon as you 
hit uh, hit enter key store will go away so here you can see store is gone once gone now copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description and paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store type in store once again and open microsoft store and then you can search uh, whatsapp try to install it still not working the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description type in cmd in window search box make a right click on command prompt app click on run as administrator click on yes to allow always open command prompt as an administrator paste it hit the enter key now this process will take some time this will run a scan once the scan is 100 percent complete now you have to run the second command second command copy this run this command on the same window hit the enter key once the second scan is 100 percent complete restart your computer and after the system restart try to install whatsapp still not working the next step is to run this inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl go to advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply click on ok and then check we have to relaunch uh, microsoft store next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart open microsoft store and then try to install whatsapp now you can also update your microsoft store so on store at the bottom left here you can see download option click on download and then click on check for update if you are able to do so so check for update and then you will see update all option hit update all and then check if that does not work fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update go to advanced option over here scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once done open microsoft store and then try to install whatsapp still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see media creation tool you can run uh, download this tool and run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen you have to click on accept then by default windows 11 would be selected select next then select iso file over here click on next set the location to desktop and then click on save over here let the download complete this process will take some time and then click on finish once you can click on finish you will see the screen let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then run the setup file make a double click and then click on yes to allow click on next accept and by default the option to here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation this process will take some time after the installation log into the computer open store and then install whatsapp still not working the last step is to reset windows 11 now create a backup first because you will lose all the data and application on your computer when you reset to reset you can open windows settings go to windows update advanced option recovery option and then you will see the reset this pc option click on reset pc and here you can see the first option is keep my files which will remove application and settings from your computer but keeps your personal files second option is remove everything removes all your personal files apps and settings you will lose everything so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall and then let the reset complete once the reset is done set up your computer you have to start everything from scratch and then open microsoft store and then try to install whatsapp so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel